Tired of paying for cloud storage or worried about your data privacy? In this video, I'll guide you through setting up your own private cloud storage server on your Windows 10 or 11 computer using Nextcloud. If you're looking for a way to store and access your files from anywhere over the internet, Nextcloud is the perfect solution for you. It's an open source platform that lets you create your own personal cloud storage right on your Windows computer. You can store files and share them with others just like you do on Google Drive or Dropbox. First of all, you need to install Docker Desktop on your Windows PC. Docker Desktop is the tool that allows you to run the Nextcloud all-in-one container on your Windows machine. It simplifies the installation and management of Nextcloud and its dependencies. Download Docker Desktop from its official website. After downloading, run the installer. Make sure WSL2 is selected. WSL2 provides a lightweight Linux environment where the Nextcloud container can run natively, improving performance and compatibility. Click OK. Docker Desktop will start unpacking the necessary files and setting itself up. If you didn't have WSL2 already installed, you might need to restart your computer after Docker Desktop is finished installing. This ensures everything is configured correctly and ready to go. Now, open Docker Desktop and accept the terms. You'll see a few pop-ups. Just click on Skip to skip them. Now Docker Desktop is all set. Head to the settings. Tick this box to make sure Docker Desktop starts automatically when you log into your computer. This is super important because Nextcloud needs Docker running in the background to work properly. Click on Apply. Next, open your command prompt. Copy and paste this command from the video description. This command will automatically download and configure the Nextcloud all-in-one Docker container on your Windows machine. Once the Nextcloud container is running, you can access the Nextcloud interface in your web browser using this URL. Login with the default password provided here. To make your Nextcloud accessible from anywhere over the internet, you'll need a public domain name. You can achieve this by setting up dynamic DNS on your router. I'm using a TP-Link router. The process should be similar for other router brands. So check your router's documentation for specific instructions. Once you have configured Dynamic DNS, you will get a unique domain name like this. It will always point to your home network even if your public IP address changes. Next, you will need to forward port 443 on your router. This allows access to your next port server from the internet using your domain name.
Finally, it's crucial to assign the static IP address to a computer running Nextcloud. This ensures that its IP address remains constant, preventing any disruptions to your cloud access. Now go back to your Nextcloud AIO interface. Here, type in the public domain you just set up. These optional add-ons are cool, but today we are just focusing on cloud storage. So, uncheck all of the boxes. Now hit the download and start containers button. This will take a few minutes as it downloads and sets everything up. So be patient. It'll probably take about 10 to 15 minutes to get all these containers downloaded and running. Once all the containers are up and running, you'll see the screen. Your next cloud server is now live. Go ahead and open it up. Log in with the admin credentials provided here. Now let's add some users. Click on your profile icon, then head to users. You can create new accounts for your friends or family right here. Now, let's access the Nextcloud dashboard using the newly created account. You can see it's working fine. Now you have got your very own private cloud storage server right on your Windows PC. No more relying on those big tech companies like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, etc. Now let me show you how to access it from anywhere over the internet. I am on my Android phone right now and I am using mobile data. You can use the Nextcloud app or you can just go to your web browser and type in your public domain name. Then log into your next cloud account. And there you have it. You can now upload files, create folders and share files with others. Once you upload your files, it will be accessible from any device over the internet. Nextcloud stores all your files in the NC data folder in your C drive. As all the uploaded files are stored on your own computer, you do not have to worry about your data privacy.